Welcome to Sitam Church Online. This is Pastor Karita Mbagara, the senior pastor at Sitam Karen. I want us to start considering prayer from the book of Habakkuk because there are lessons that I think are relevant to our day that we can learn from this prophet. I want to title this series From Morning into Dancing. Have you ever prayed and wondered whether God is listening to you or whether there is an angel in heaven who has been hiding your prayer so that God is not hearing what you are saying? Are there times when you feel like evil is triumphing over your life in spite of the fact that you're praying. I want to tell you that Habakkuk was in a similar situation. When you read his book, the opening uh, lines of the book of Habakkuk, they seem to suggest that. Just listen to the very beginning, chapter one, verse two to four. I'll read for you. It says, how long, O Lord, must I call for help? But you do not listen or cry out to you violence, but you do not save. Why do you make me look at injustice? Why do you tolerate wrong? Destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and conflict abounds. Therefore the law is paralyzed and justice never prevails. The wicked hem in the righteous so that justice is perverted. Habakkuk states in this prayer that he has been asking God for answers concerning issues he's been praying for and he's not receiving answer. He starts actually by a very, um, very serious question. How long? And the moment you hear those words, there are a number of things that come to mind. Either Habakkuk is presumptuous. How can you ask God how long? You know, I've called on you, but you've not been listening. Is this a guy who has, you know, contempt for God because of familiarity? Presumption can make us become familiar, so familiar with God that we can be presumptuous, we can, we can just contempt God. But that, I don't think, is the situation for Habakkuk. Secondly, you could, from that statement, say that he has had many previous callings because he says how long he must have prayed before so this gives us the impression that Habakkuk is an agitated prayer if I may use that statement or a man who has been before the Lord a number of times but the prayers have not been answered but thirdly it also communicates to us that God can keep quiet you can be a faithful person you could have prayed many times but God just seems to have held his peace not answered you and seems to have ignored you. Some people talk of the dark night of the soul. It is possible that Habakkuk was going through a similar experience. But, only, but also, fourthly, we can say that this is a persistent person. He has prayed before, asked many times, but he continues asking until he reaches this point where he's asking, how long? But that also may be an expression of faith. If he has prayed many times and he has not been answered and he's still coming back to God, he, it seems that he has no alternative B or alternative C. But, so he, he persists, he remains with God, holds on to God. But it tells me that knowing God and to a large extent understanding who he is will keep you praying. It also tells me when you read through the book of Habakkuk, it will end up with Habakkuk rejoicing over what God has done. So it tells me that we must be persistent. And the joy of testimony comes from having persisted in the trial or the time of testing. Now, if I may ask, are you the type that is giving up on your prayers? I think you can draw from Habakkuk's example and know that I should continue. Habakkuk did not give up. 
he continues praying and we as we will see in the lessons to follow Habakkuk continues trusting God to come through there are lessons that he will learn through the the prayer uh, season and I believe that God will also be teaching us lessons so the first thing that I want to encourage you with persist on praying you will grow you will increase in your knowledge of God don't give up don't give in to whatever circumstances you are facing but hold on to God even if you come to the point where you will be asking how long will I pray about these issues Habakkuk was a was a praying prophet praying for his nation praying for issues of injustice issues of corruption but he did not give up and I want to encourage you don't give up God will come through for you and you will soon be rejoicing because every testimony that is given comes out of a time of being tested and you too will come out with a testimony if you persist may the lord bless you as you consider what we have said i would want to hear what you think about about it using the um the contacts that are listed down below this video god bless you